She placed her hands on Juliana's breasts. Oh my. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. So it's your first time, eh? Well, don't worry. I'm here to make sure everything goes smoothly. Are you comfortable? Good. Now let's watch this modern educational film all about voting for the first time. So you've turned 18, eh? Well, God bless America. Are you ready to vote? Well, it's a big decision, so make sure you've done your research. And guess what? Voting is easy. Who can I vote to? <laughs> I'm sorry, little lady. If you're out voting, how else are the men who vote supposed to get their much-deserved dinners? Run along now. That pot roast isn't going to cook itself. Okay, okay, let's, let's, let's not watch this film anymore. It's kind of dated. Why don't they just cook the pot roast, huh? It's really not that hard at all. Why isn't it shutting? I don't want to make pudding. I want to be in politics. Okay. <laughs> So, if you're 18 and you're a citizen of the United States of America, then you, my friend, are eligible to vote. Isn't that exciting? Now, as long as you're not currently in prison or on parole for a conviction of a felony, like our own Joe Beretta, and have not been judged by a court to be mentally incompetent to register to vote, like Elliot Morgan, then you're golden. Well, how do you register to vote? Well, there's a number of ways. We're living in the future, ladies and gentlemen. A future where some states have allowed voters to register online without having to fill out and mail paper forms. Online voter registration is available in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Kansas, Louisiana, Nevada, Oregon, Utah, and Washington. For everyone else, most .gov sites for your corresponding state will have a click to register to vote button where you can print out, fill out, and mail out the old fashioned Way. Some local businesses also have registration kiosks set up right outside. Deadlines for the last day to register to be able to vote is different for every state. Some states even allow you to register in person on election day, as long as you can provide proof of residency. We'll put some links in the description down below for you in case you weren't sure where to go. We'll also put a link to the nearest Arby's location so you can get your hunk. What's that? Okay, well, we're not doing the Arby's thing anymore. All right, fine, I got it. You don't have to flip me off. Look, I got the sandwich. Once you've filled out your registration form and mailed it off, you're all set. You should receive information on where to vote in the form of a pamphlet with all the information on both parties, a sample ballot, and information on where to go to vote. And what do you do once you've located your local polling place? Well, we've got you covered with our very own Elliot Vote Master Morgan. Nobody calls me that. You shut up and show them how to vote. And that's it! The whole process takes less than five minutes, and then you get a fancy sticker that says something to the effect of, I voted, so suck it! Uh, depending on what state you're in. And then, ladies and gentlemen, fine citizens of this great nation, you have completed your duty as a member of the United States of America. Let's stand together. We should never forget how lucky we are to live in a place where we have the power to vote for who ends up running this great nation. We as free people with the power to decide, to choose to vote, and every vote counts. It's a powerful thing. And the choice is yours, America. The choice is yours. So make the right one. I'm talking, of course, about electing Mayor Richard Nixon, for he's ex What? He's dead? Oh, f Whoa! I screwed that up. Please vote, but make sure you do plenty of research before you do. God bless America. I want to get back to my book here. Larry's a mouse? I can't read.